This isn't a question I get very often. I just feel like talking about it because I've been significantly more at peace with myself ever since I figured out how. And that is how not to give a fuck. I swear to God, every other day I meet somebody who is very concerned with their image in relation to other people. And yeah, I get it. Humans are social creatures and like back in the day, especially back in the day, if we weren't liked by our tribe members, we were going to be abandoned and probably left for dead. But we don't live in those times now, do we? It's a very different world that we're in. In a time where we are drowning in social media and searching constantly for fucking likes, we always open up Facebook or Instagram, post something to it, hoping to get a little fix of some dopamine, serotonin, whatever. I just wanted to share with all of you a little how I stop giving a fuck. You're the kind of guy who asks a lot of philosophical questions that most people don't give a shit about, and because you're always preoccupied with them, yeah, like, maybe you live a pretty interesting life. People around you think that you waste your time masturbating to these philosophical topics when you could just be living your life. They think that you're weird. They think that you think too much. They think that you speak in a way that's inaccessible to most people and that you're pretentious. I'm sure that you've all probably heard it before. The bad news is, if you stop giving a fuck, yeah, you're going to receive comments like that far more than you do now. People are probably going to hate you. People will imagine pushing you in front of a bus and, and probably grin to the thought. But if you want to feel free in life, if you want to feel like you can do what you want, live your life on your own terms and not the behest of somebody else, it's time to be your own mental point of origin. First thing that I always think about is no matter who you are, no matter what you do, no matter what you believe in, somebody's going to be pissed off by you. Me, for example. You can take any of your interests, right? I like philosophy. Do you think philosophy is universally liked by people? There are probably some people who think that philosophy is the most pretentious bullshit that any human can engage in. And anybody who reads philosophy is just a sanctimonious jackass who's too preoccupied with feeling better than other people. You could like Nirvana. You could be like me and like Nirvana. Somebody thinks that Kurt Cobain's a fucking loser because he put a shotgun to his face and killed himself. Somebody's probably going to get upset with me for drinking wine in this video because I'm promoting alcoholism. No matter what you do, no matter who you are, no matter what your name is, no matter where you live, there's always going to be somebody who does not like you. You see, back when I was in middle school, I used to really preoccupy myself with the thoughts of other people. I never understood why it was so difficult for me to blend in with everybody else. I was always interested in, like, Star Wars. I liked Star Wars, Metal Gear Solid, nerdy things, things that were like intangible. I never wanted to talk about, I wasn't really interested in the person of the highest social status. That was never something of concern to me. The way I suffered from it when I was younger is I was always bullied. I was always kicked around and told that I was a faggot by everybody around me. Is anybody, as you can all see, like the shirt that I'm sporting right now? Yeah, it's a Nirvana shirt. I love Kurt Cobain. I love Nirvana. One of the biggest reasons that Nirvana had such a profound impact on me was a quote that was attributed to Kurt Cobain. I don't believe there's an actual video of him saying it, but Kurt Cobain once said, I would rather be hated for who I am than to be loved for who I'm not. Jesus Christ, I sound like an alternative Ben Shapiro. Somebody kill me. Becoming your own mental point of origin. Wouldn't you rather be hated for who you are, for your own interests, for like the things that you like? Maybe you're an engineer, maybe you like Nirvana, maybe you have like that one interest, but wouldn't you rather be hated for being true to yourself as opposed to faking it and being somebody who you're not? Somebody could probably make a decent counter-argument for the merits of pretending to be somebody that you're not so that you don't stick out among the crowd. Fine. I respect that. But for some of us, it's very difficult not to be true to ourselves. Ever since I decided that everything that I think, everything that I say are going to be in perfect alignment, yeah, maybe I haven't had many friends, but I have quite a few. And the friends that I have really appreciate me for who I am. They appreciate me for my quirks. They appreciate me for the fucking whatever, you know, like this. Yeah. But it's all about letting go. Just let go. Nobody is stopping you being the person that you want. What is so scary about being hated by other people? That people are going to call you ugly? That people are going to say that you're a loser? That you're not doing anything important with your life? There's no getting around that. Somebody's always going to say it. If you could just face that directly and accept that there are people who absolutely hate you, who absolutely don't like you, that it's a certainty, the anxiety goes away. Because as opposed to having an anxiety about whether or not someone hates you, you just know. Yeah, the person I am right now is not liked by somebody. There's no getting around it. That's a pretty short point, but that's how I generally look at it. Just be your own mental point of origin and recognize that no matter what you do, somebody is not going to like it. The merits of being free to do what one wants is a lot better than living the life that somebody else wants you to. 
I think that there is a sincerity that we're lacking now. I don't know if it's social media. I don't know if it's just that our culture is very obsessed with looking better than it actually is. But when you see a photograph posted on Instagram, how often is that photograph edited to all hell? There's a filter. The person probably made sure that the lighting was correct. They made sure that they took a photo of themselves from their good side. They're smiling. And it's a representation of an ideal life that they're probably not even living in the first place. I personally think that we lack sincerity. And that sincerity isn't there because we want to look better than we actually are. Because we don't want to face the truth about ourselves. Not all of us are awesome. Not all of us are great. Many of us are very ugly, disgusting people on the inside. And there's no escaping it. But I say fuck it. Who cares? But if ever there's a time that I could share anything that I've learned in my life, I think it's on YouTube. And it's to the people who have appreciated my videos thus far. Thank you very much for keeping up with my content. And I'm hoping to make more shorts like this in the future. But what you do is what you do. Nobody else can do that. Own it, man.